Juan Cante. Oh, look at Cante, lads, hunting. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to everybody as well. Hope 2024 is a banger of a year. We're back with a banger of a vid, right? We've got Kante, the ultimate breakdown of him. Gameplay, training guide, tips, tricks, everything that you could possibly want to know about the new beast and the new meta in midfield. We're also going to be feeding this video in as kind of like uh, an entry point into the new ultimate meta breakdown video that we're going to be doing. So let's crack on with it. And I will catch you guys in just a second. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. All right, so you're going to see Kante here do kind of a few things, especially that are a little bit probably against the grain, right? And I think that this is what you have to do with certain players. If you've got a guy that knows and understands every single thing about the game and the mechanics of the game, you have to switch it up a bit. And this is where I think Kante can be your hidden secret weapon, right? He is able to do it all. He's able to dribble. He's able to pass. He's able to get the ball out of, uh, you know, space. Uh, and on the attack, like you'll see the amount of ground he's just covering here. Yes, his most impressive stats and his most impressive abilities within the game are winning the ball back. And he is like kind of like uh, he's kind of like a pit bull terrier. Lads. He's just so aggressive on the ball, even when you're not controlling him. This is what you want to let him do a lot of the time is to just be chilling with him and just let him do what he wants to do, man. Give him that free roll defensively while also being, you know, having the option of him, you know, switching to him to win ball back. And you can see there that time and time again, you're going to see here that this is in the same game, just looking to kind of get clips and, you know, you'll see different matches where we played online as well. It's just effortless with him. I mean, it's not just when he gets the ball. It's just that he's a pest. He's very, very hard to get past. Now, do I put him in the same category as Patrick Vieira or somebody like Hullet or Reichardt in midfield or somebody like that? It's, it's hard to know because he doesn't have those big long spider legs, right? But I found that I was getting on a lot of ball and being able to do something with it. You'll see in this highlighted clip here, right? Look where we highlight Kante. I manually hold matchup to put in a, pa put in a tackle. But watch where the, I the AI ends up with him. Look where it ends up with him when we win the ball back. So he's got amazing box-to-box -box player AI and his speed build that we're going to cover in a second and I'm going to show you exactly the build. He does cover a lot of space, he covers a lot of grass, right? So that's what you want from your players. There's no point having a player in your, in your squad just because he's 102, 103 overall if the game just bypasses him. And that's not what Kante lets happen, right? Kante is always in your kind of action man mode, right? Even when he misses tackles, he still positions himself to get on the counter. Again, look, pass. I'm just going to pass the ball here, quick tempo. And this means aggressive on and off the ball. Keep the ball moving when you have it and keep the ball chasing when you don't. All right, just a minute now, just to interrupt this, right? I always thought as well, when I first got Kante, I was like, ah, he's just a defensive juggernaut. He's just going to mop up everything. But man, he's so much more than that, right? The more I've played with him, I think he's actually becoming my favorite attacking box to box as well, right? I know Borella is a beast. Bellingham is a beast. But Kante just seems to have this like inert ability to be able to like be in the right place at the right time. You're going to see some clips here from an offensive point of view with this build that we've actually chosen to do for him, right, in a couple of minutes. And we're going to show you exactly why he operates the way he operates. It's a mixture of player ID, his play style, his actual player stats, and just the way that his animations are in the game, right? So let's crack on. We're going to show you exactly why he is the ultimate box to box. Now, I've spoken about the new meta, right? And we're going to be doing a follow-up video to this. But look at this build. 90 speed, 90 balance, 99 stamina, 80 dribbling, and then his defensive stats. 95, 97, 96, and 92. Now, yes, you can keep the ball moving and you can win the ball back uh, with Kante. He'll do that in his sleep, right? But you can also kind of switch it up a bit and quicken the tempo to create chances, not just for himself off the counter. He wins the ball back. Little touch and go, and he's going to create himself a really nice option here, which is my mistake with Ronaldo, because I'm hoping to Kante, and he is going to continue that free roll CMF box-to-box -box offensive run. His stamina is going to let him do that all day, every day, lads. He's like the Energizer Bunny, and I should give the ball in here first time for a true pass, but I don't. It's my mistake. So Kante's probably shaking his head at me, right? But again, you'll see time and time again, just because you have an, a defensive type player, doesn't mean that they can't be offensive within the right system, within your tactics, and within all of that, right? We're just playing a simple long ball counter tactic with Ten Hag here, and we're just making and triggering manual runs, right? So when you win the ball back here, Mbappe, Kante's run is going to be all AI assisted here. Bellingham, I still haven't switched to Kante. Now watch the run he's going to make to get into this position. That's what you want your CMFs to be doing, right? Now, if you find that he's too offensive, you can always put deep line on him, right? But this is where you want him, and he gets 
a really good chance. He obviously doesn't have great finishing, but we still get the little tap in, right? And you'll see time and time again, right? In the same match or whatever clips that you look at, Kante is just on the end of some really unique chances. All right, so I mean, you see Kante there, right? Even though he's a defensive beast, right? He's still making insane runs. He can pass, he can dribble, he can bomb the ball forward. He can get back and help out any defender, right? So I think a lot of people overcomplicate what works and what doesn't work in the game, right? If you're a top 500 player, anything is going to work for you. You know what I mean? It's more what works for the casual player that comes in in the evening time and is able to just sit down and actually hold his own against guys that are playing 30, 40 hours a week. There's a lot of stuff that works without overcomplicating it. And you'll see with this build, it's all about speed, it's all about defense, and it's all about making Kante cover every blade of grass while still being able to use the animations of the game, not stats, right, to actually cut angles and make angles for passes, first time shots, first time passes, letting the AI do the runs and letting the AI mop up a lot of stuff, right? So we're going to work this video into our new ultimate meta breakdown. Make sure you're liked and subscribed to the channel if you want to stay up to date with that. Keep notifications on and let's get into the build here and we'll talk through that build. So all those clips that you've seen there, lads, are from this build that we're about to show you, right? Insane defense. You've got 80 dribbling to carry the ball forward. You're going to be dependent on his player AI, his ID, and of course his player skills for either one touch passes, double touch for his dribbling to get him out of, of, of any bother, and then the speed and stamina is going to couple up with the defendant. So five into dex, 11 into lower body strength, four into aerial strength for his physical contact boost, and then defending is going to get 11 as well. Now, a lot of people will ask me, oh, could I go a little bit more dribbling? Could I go a little bit more passing? Of course you can. I mean, you can fine-tune the build, but I think that this is the perfect box-to-box, -box. probably the most complete box-to-box -box in the game at the moment, especially when you add these skills. So I've put on blocker and trackback. Now, trackback, there's a bit of confusion about that. Essentially, just think of trackback if you're not a striker or you're not a forward player, right? If it's not a forward player, that he just presses a little bit more aggressive on uh, the pitch. That's all it does. And blocker goes without saying. The rest of the stats, it depends on whether you want, you know, Kante to be a complete, which is this build, or you want it to be more defensive or more attacking. If you want to play Kante in a double pivot, right? If you want to play him in a double, double pivot beside Vieira or somebody like that that is equally able to do what Kante does, the big problem with Kante a lot of people run into is if he starts getting targeted physically, his height, if you're getting a lot of knockdowns, if you're playing somebody in attacking midfield or your opponent is playing somebody in attacking midfield, he will be able to kind of just knock down balls if he's able to isolate Kante. But a lot of the time, the ball can bypass midfield. So you're better off kind of having that explosive mobility to be able to go from attack to defense in a split second, whether you're controlling the player or the AI is controlling the player. And Kante is one of the best in the business at that, right? So it doesn't really matter the system that you've set up if you are prepared to do what Kante does best, right? So that is it for me, lads. Let me know what you guys think of this video. It's kind of a bit of a different one. Let me know if you like the style. And we will be back very, very, very soon. As I said, Kante is fast becoming one of my favorite players. He's replacing Varela quite a bit. But Barella is still a really good option. If you guys want to see anything else, we're covering the tactics on the screen there. But if you guys want to see anything else on this, it'll probably be covered in my Ultimate Meta Breakdown video coming soon. So make sure you're liked and subscribed to the channel. And we will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.